Hello everyone, Spectre here, and welcome to Star Citizen. Today we are going to take a look at the Drake Colors Blue. Drake Colors Blue is an introduction version of the color series. Well, the reason why this ship was being created is because the company in the Star Citizen, Drake Interplanetary, had a, quite a bad reputation as their ships always being used by the pirates and also like uh, some criminals which yeah the company in Stardison would like to like change their image so they created for example the Cutlass Red which is a medical um, ship and of course um, this police version of the Cutlass series so they try to change their image um, yeah, but anyway, since um, this company, the Drake Interplanetary, kind of like not checking the background of, the, of their buyers, so it means that as long as you've got money, they will sell it to you. It turns out this ship, although it's a very good bounty hunter ship in the future, but it also means that you, some, I just said some, okay, Pirates or criminals might have a chance to get their hands on something even more powerful than the colors black. But anyway, so let's get to it first. At the beginning, you can see the cockpit. The cockpit is the design of the cockpit, especially for the window. Okay, that part is a little bit different from the other color series, as um, this kind of. Um, um, window can provide them, like provide um, the pilot got like more vision around their ship, which is very nice. But uh, later on, we will talk about it. And in here, th these are the stock uh, variants of the weaponry. So um, these are the I think it's some sort of like neutron weaponry. Why it looks like something <laughs> in Elite Dangerous, I don't know, but anyway. So these kind of guns are supposed to damage the shields only instead of the ship. So it means that they can they can like um, damage um, the other's shields faster than the normal laser weapons. And once those shields are down, it means that the rest of the weaponry like that, the laser repeaters up there at the turret and also this gallon gun can finish the job by the way I think these are the gimbal weapons though so I think it's size 2 weapons all right so you've got some claws things in here which is not functional right now or maybe it's not claws but anyway I thought they are claws but anyway let's move on you got the airlock well, talk about the airlock. Well, when the time I record um, this video, I accidentally found out I did something wrong about my uh, color spread. Yes, uh, I will talk about it later. But anyway, so you got the airlock just like the color spread in here. And uh, one of the good features about um, of the color series is you got a veto engine. So it means that these big engine can like uh, turn 90 degree downward so that you have a better control when you're landing that's very nice so this is the ramp which is the only way to get in or out so you and your co-pilot good luck with that so just fight your way out or maybe no it's, it's wide enough so you don't need to fight your way out but anyway since you don't have ejection seat so it means that when the time you are under fire, mm, yeah, it kind of harder for you to get out of the ship if things go sideways. So the right hand side is identical to the left hand side of the ship. All right. Oh, by the way, <laughs> the cockpit in this angle looks like um. I mean the seminal the xenomorph, the aliens like monster like in aliens um, movies. Like it looks like xenomorph to me. Okay. 
Anyway, so let's get inside of it first. Alright, so same as usual, press this button to open it. It will lower. In here, just like the colors red, you have only 12 SE of cargo space in here. It's rarely for you to can like um like park some vehicles in here, which I don't think you can. Maybe you can in some ways, but I don't think so. Yeah. But anyway, so let's get inside of it. Yep. 12 SEO cargo in here, technically. Well, not enough for trading, but uh, if you, um, in the future, you got some more other stuff, like uh, you want to, uh, like, put things in your ship. Since 3.15, you got uh, a ship inventory as well. So it means that if you want to put more stuff, so you might have a chance to put your boxes or uh, other things in here. I don't know. Like, I, I really don't know. But anyway, so you have got at 12 SD of cargo in here. And you got air lock here. So close it and you can see. Ta-da! Well, this ship, they propose that uh, this ship is for privateer or police um, like authorities to catch criminals so you've got a lot of parts in here so you can lock all your criminals inside so six in one side so you got 12 in total which is very nice and those I think uh, you can rotate it if it's functional currently it's not, fun well, not functional at all and you can't catch anyone alive anyway so yeah, why bother for now? Uh, but if it's functional, you can catch someone alive, you can put them in to like collect your bounty after you arrive at some station. Or if you don't have enough seat, but you still want to carry a lot of your friends, <laughs> well, I won't say you what kind of things you need to do, but you know what I'm talking about. You can just simply put them inside. Yeah. 12 of them that's very nice right okay so in here um you got some airlock in here yeah this is the thing that i said i am got it wrong about the color spread i said when the time i make that video i said that um you can either open like the door inside or you can i mean from the inside you can open the door only from the inside right the inner door but the outer um, out the door, you can just open it from the outside, right? But not the case. Um, yeah, I was so dumb. Okay, now you got some space in here, right? So squeeze yourself here. Make sure you squeeze your wood away there. All right. Now let me see whether I can. Okay, there you go. Okay, now after you clear out your space, so make sure you stay away from the store. Uh, the store. And uh, you can open the outer door. So that's how the airlock works. Yeah, I'm so dumb at this point. Sorry about that. But anyway, so in every time you can only open one door. So you can only open indoor inside of it, or you can open the out, uh, outside one. So one side of it must be closed. All right, so this is how it works. So, yeah, you got the other side of it, the same as the left hand side. In here, you got some gun rack thing in here which is not accessible right now. I think um, if you loot someone and put them, not loot someone, sorry about that. This is a police or privateer version of the Cutlass series, right? It's not for criminals. Mm, yeah, kind of. Anyway, so if you put them inside of it, you can store the things in here, I think. Might be, I don't know. Or maybe just for you to put some extra weapons in here in the future. So let's move on here. Okay, so um, I need to talk about this area, which is very odd for me. Yeah, no matter it's like colors black, colors blue, colors red, they all got some sort of like area in here, which is very odd for me. Because, well, colors, technically they use low-tech things to kind of build the ship, right? 
and uh, to save a lot of uh, money, which makes sense for them to put a lot of things as as many as you can in a like small area. So just like a buccaneer, if you know what is buccaneer, is a fighter that created by Drake. You got a lot of firepower on a very tiny ship, so that's what they are trying to do. But for this space, it's kind of waste for some reason. It is not. Kind of makes sense to me. As yeah, it's not functional at all. Maybe they should add something in here, like a table or something. Maybe better. I am not so sure why you got some more space in here. But anyway, you can put some boxes in here if you're doing like box delivery missions. But it's still good. Here, you got some storage boxes here, which is not functional right now. Uh, this one, you can put some suit or armor in here, which is nice. And in here, you got some gun racks. You can put your guns here, more storage boxes, and two beds for locking out. No ejection features for those beds, so you can't shoot your friends outside. But anyway, you lock 12 of your friends there already, why bother? Okay, now you got the turret. This turret, you can ask your third. Um, wow, what happened? I can see outside of the ship for some that. Okay, so you can ask uh, like your co-pilot, or maybe just simply um, like um, how to power on. Where's power on? I forgot about it. Well, anyway, don't bother about it yet. So, yeah. And I still want to op open switch it. Oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. I'm so happy I can switch it on. Alright, so you can ask the third person to add like a turret gunner for uh, extra firepower forward or covering your ship, like um, the back side of your ship. That's very nice. Alright, unlike the colors red, which is a searchlight only. And the turret is no, no need for the first person to control it for the colors red. But uh, the colors blue and colors red, uh, black, sorry, colors black got the turret here for extra pie of power. That's very good. Alright, so this is the cockpit. This is the co pilot seat. As I said, um, the fuel is very good uh, as you can treat this ship as a fighter, as a medium fighter. Um, yeah, but um, anyway, so um, the co-pilot can um, kind of helping the pilot, which is maybe you, to like fire missiles and uh, control some energy output. That's nice. Or if necessary, can like uh, control your ship through the co-pilot seat. I think. Now this is a pilot seat. As I said, it's unlike um, the colors black or colors red. The sight, the view is very good. And uh, but the panels still blocking your way. Anyway, if you don't like it, you can go to the co-pilot seat to control the ship. Alright, so in here you got four weapons in here, and also you got some mm -mm, some red thing in here. So what does it mean? Oh, what does it mean is like um, okay, so it means that you can power something like um, I don't know, like um, um, like kind of system I should say, like I pull people out of quantum like quantum travel. Or maybe just stopping them from uh, jumping away. So since this is a privateer ship, so-called privateer or like a police version of a Drake, so they try to catch criminals, right? But some more, like most of the criminals, will kind of jump away if they can't fight. So the system can kind of like blocking them from escaping so that um, people can finish the job. By destroying their ships, while they cannot 
really escape from uh, through quantum travel. As I said, Drake Interplanetary is a sh is a like company that don't check people's background, the bias background. So it means that um, the pirates might have their chance to get a hands on get their hands on this ship, which block the normal transports from escaping, so that they can like catch those people and also like um collect that cargo i don't know so which is bad at some point i would say this ship <laughs> is a kind of um pirate ship <laughs> you can and even better pirate ship comparing to the colors black yep so it turns out it's not a very nice thing for like um, for the civilians if this ship was being used by the pirates. And uh, if you talk about the firepower, although you got still got uh, four gimbal size two weapons or four X size three weapons, you got more missiles. Normally, colors black got sixteen, but now you got twenty four on the colors blue, which is nice. Yeah, so because you got more firepower and this is a fighter version kind of, okay, or interdiction version of the color series, so you must have more firepower. Yeah, so for me, if currently, okay, currently, um, like, you can't really, like, stop um, the AI, the NPCs, from jumping away because they won't. So currently the ship, if you really need to use this ship for stopping someone from quantum travel, probably that is a person. And it is very less likely to be a criminal. As you know, uh, most of the people in Star Citizen, uh, Star Citizens are very nice people, right? So it means that less criminals in the first. So probably if you really need to use the system to kind of drag people out of quantum travel or stopping them from quantum travel, those people probably are not that nice or just messing around. And it also shows that it's only effective against um, real players because only real players will kind of uh, doing the quantum travel around frequently compared to the NPCs and uh, also um, currently in 3.14 you can't really like um, catching the criminals no matter is like uh, the real players or um, the NPCs alive you just can kill them and track their bodies that's it no um, no capture alive, which makes the whole bounty like missions is not um, is not fully functional if you talk about on the ship. So it means that the ship cannot be fully functional until you can catch someone alive and put them inside of those pods, uh, send them to maybe um, some jails and collect your bounty, or maybe just simply sell them for extra cash. I don't know. Which makes this ship is not as good as people thought. Of course, you can treat it like a fighter, a medium fighter, because you got a medium size one, uh, size like a single size two shield, so it's a medium shield. Um, you got a decent firepower and also a lot of missiles. You got some uh, system temple. I don't know what that system was. I forgot about it already. But anyway, so you can stop people from uh, quantum traveling. That looks nice as a fighter, and you got a very good view. I won't say you cannot choose this ship. Yes, feel free to choose whatever you wanted in the game. But I would suggest you to try it out uh, by using like buying it through like with in-game credits first before you spend real money on any kind of ships okay uh yeah so if you treat it like a fighter it's still okay 
just uh, be reminded that um, the ship is a medium-sized ship, so it means that it's not that uh, mobile compared to some other fighters, the real fighters. Also, if you just try to do kind of like fire support role or like um, kind of less combat, I mean just in the combat you do the support role or something like that, then I will not suggest you, uh, to use the ship um, because the ship in game it cost you around 2.4 million uh, in game credits. But if you talk about the support role in the combat, I would suggest you to save up a little bit more to for like purchasing the Freelancer Miss MIS Miss, which is a gunboat variant of the Freelancers. It costs you 2.5 uh, million in-game credits to purchase it. Yeah, and it got a lot of firepower compared to this colors blue. Yep, so, um, yeah, if you want to purchase this ship as a support role in combat, I would suggest you to purchase the um, Freelancer Miss instead of the ship. As a medium fighter, you can purchase it wherever you want, yeah. So, technically, that's it for today's video about the Colors Blue. And, uh, yep, and if you have any questions like um but anyway uh i although i didn't try to say it but yeah still let's talk about the price point yeah the real money if you really talk about like uh, supporting this game and really want this ship in some points they may have a chance to sell this ship like uh, the drake day or something like that they will sell these uh, the drake ships including this one I do think that I remember it's around like $170 to $180 for the last time I checked. Yeah, so yeah, if you really want the ship, yeah, if after you try it out in game, you really want the ship, it's your cup of tea. Yeah, feel free to purchase it, whatever you want it. Just be reminded that uh, $45 is, um, I mean, it's already enough for you to like experience this game already yeah so yeah uh, just if you want to support this game's development then feel free to purchase whatever you want it just be reminded that all right so that is it for today's video and i shall see you guys next time about the other ships tour and see you guys next time bye bye